What's happening, Swanky fam? I'm Reed. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Sunday, December 5th, the fifth day of Discmas. It's a busy day out here at Little Mulberry Park, but we just want to give you guys our fifth video. Today, we're bringing you top 10 MPO players of 2021. Before we get in, like the video, subscribe to the channel, trying to reach 10K, and uh, yeah, let's jump in. All right, guys, number 10, we've got Kevin Jones, okay? Super talented player, forehand, backhand. He has it all. He's been in the top five before, probably. I mean, he's been up there competing he's been tour champion he's he's won several pro tour events but this year just wasn't quite his year he fell off a little bit failed to compete uh in a lot of events like uh, he just wasn't in the top uh, top 10 in a lot of events uh just couldn't get quite up on the horse this year he's number 10 for us still uh he's got a lot of potential if the putt is there he's a top three player but uh, when it's not uh, he falls down a little bit and so we have him at number 10. coming in at number nine we have drew gibson power player not known for his putt but that's sort of turning around lately and that's what's getting him into that number nine spot for us uh, he had a lot of great performances this year on tour um and the putt is coming together. He's known for not being able to putt and that's what holds him back. And it's still holding him back to some extent. That's why he's not at the upper end of the list. Um, but he is a phenomenal player and we've got him at number nine. All right guys, number eight, James Conrad, our world champion this year. And I know you're like, our world champion is number eight. Yeah, James, uh, he was great in some events and others he just wasn't quite there. Uh, he switched to MVP this year. Maybe that had something to do with it. He's got throwing new discs. So hopefully he can turn it around another off season to practice with the MVP discs. Hopefully he can make something happen there and, and be back at the top of leaderboards uh, next year. Love to see a repeat world championship from, from James Conrad. All right, number seven, we have Kyle Klein. Maybe the most improved player of the year, Discmania sponsor, absolute crusher. Uh, and yeah, guys, he actually won a few events out there. He he got Idlewild, he competed for uh, several others. I think uh, Deeglo, he almost won. He ended up losing to Eagle in that one. Several events this year, guys, he was fighting for the win. Uh, and we noticed, and he is a phenomenal player. He has all the skill in the world and he's super young. So he's got a lot of room to grow. Uh, coming in at number seven, guys. Yeah, I, I hope to see him improve even more next year. All right, guys, number six. This might be my hottest take of the list. We have Calvin Heimberg at number six. A lot of people are gonna say that's too low for him, but I don't know where to put him on this list. I got five guys that are killing it on tour that I have ahead of him, and I can't put any of them below him. Heimberg has all the tools to be the best player in the world, and we sort of thought last year we were seeing that happen. Last year, he won a bunch of events. He was performing at a high level at the end of the year, and we thought maybe this is Calvin breaking out. Uh, unfortunately, he took a step back this year. Uh, didn't get a ton of wins on tour or, or any uh, Elite Series wins at all, I don't think. I think he had a, a Silver Series win, and that's all. Oh, he did tie Ricky with Ledgestone. That's an unfortunate event there, but but yeah, uh, guys, Calvin's a great player. He has all the skill to be the best, um, but not this year. So number six. All right, number five, Adam Hammes. Huge wins on tour for Adam Hammes this year. I think he had a national tour and a pro tour win, uh, and he competed at a super high level a lot, especially at the end of the year. Uh, known for his forehand, but he definitely is also one of the best putters on tour, and uh, he is blowing up. If, he's kind of like Calvin Heimberg last year just like tearing it up at the end of the season um and we're excited to see if he can push into that top four that top three next year uh excited about adam hammis and what he has uh, in store for us all right guys number four chris dickerson okay you know the name limestone laser uh super consistent player and when he's on i think he's almost unbeatable kind of like all these top players when they're at their best they're the best you know and uh dickerson prodigy sponsored great putter the backhand is there the forehand is there uh and he won a lot of events this year uh he played a lot more events this year and that was key for him uh i just love his game it's so consistent it's so surprisingly good sometimes it doesn't look like he's putting a lot into his shot and then it just goes forever underrated power thrower and yeah we've got him at number four guys right above hamas uh just due to some consistency on on those lead cards all right guys last three top three guys you probably know who they are before we go into the top three just make sure you like the video if you've enjoyed the content so far of discmas and be sure you subscribe to get a chance at this axiom bag we're giving away 
All right, guys, let's get into the last three. All right, guys, number three is Eagle McMahon. That might shock some of you. I know he had the most wins on tour this year. He was lighting it up early on. We thought early in the season, there was no way he wasn't the number one player in the world. He was blowing up. He won everything. He won, I think, four pro tour events to start the year. Not four back to back, but four in the first half. And we were just like, okay, this guy's on a flamer. Uh, but unfortunately, he died off at the end. And it's the inconsistency that kills it for me. There are a lot of events where Eagle not only doesn't get the lead card, but he also is not even present on the leaderboard. Like he's he's below 15th, he's struggling. And that's what prevents him from being the number one player for me. He's not competing week in and week out at that high level. On those bomber courses, he is competitive. He is able to win. And at his best, again, he's probably the furthest thrower on tour, one of the best putters on tour, best forehand on tour, uh, but he he's just not consistent enough yet. I'm thinking next year may be his year. I hope he bounces back from this injury. Um, but yeah, guys, we've got it at number three. Okay, number two, we've got Paul Macbeth, okay? Now, Paul edges out Eagle because of his performances at the majors. For me, uh, when Paul really wants it, when he really turns it on, he's one of the best in the world. He got second at Worlds and first at USDGC. Uh, he got another Pro Tour win as well. And I think he won, yeah, he won DDO and he won Des Moines Open uh, or the Des Moines Challenge. Uh, he's got wins everywhere and those major performances just take him a little bit over the edge for me Where Eagle was just not able to compete in the majors at the same level this year and That's why we've got him at number two But you guys already know who number one is and that's Ricky Wysocki The man was the definition of consistency this year He was on every lead card It felt like if he was in the tournament, he was gonna win it He was always in a position He may not have won every event, but he was always there and that's what makes him the obvious uh, top player of the year for us. Player of the year and going into next year, definitely the favorite for the tour and for Worlds, I think. Uh, you can't argue with his performance. All right, guys, that is our top 10 MPO players of 2021. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel to get your chance at the Axiom bag. Uh, yeah, guys, let us know who we missed, who your number one player of the year was. And we'll see you for tomorrow for day six. Stay swanky.